We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today I will be keeping a straight face and not laughing. Not like the previous 30 attempts at doing this video already. <laughs> it's not going well. Alright, here we go. Uh, the Har RTA, which was a collaboration between myself, MT Essentials, and Vanya and Sasha from Van and Dell Design in Croatia. Uh, it's been out for two, three months. Has it been that long? And uh, we had a first batch and we've now put out a second batch. The second batch is made up of uh, big window kits, uh, two mil tanks and also an updated deck and a DLC version. Um, I'm not going to tell you where you can buy it or anything, just go and have a Google. Uh, go and have a Google and you'll find places selling this. Um, if not, go to the Van and Dell website and contact the guys direct. Um, just going to dive straight down. All I'm going to do is show you everything that's new. I'll show you the updated deck. I'll throw a build in it and then th that'll be it. Uh, we'll start off with the, this is the, the DLC version. So diamond uh, coating, diamond light coating. Uh, this one, yeah, it, it does cost more. Um, but basically what we did was with this one, uh, we made a decision it cost us more to get it manufactured uh, or the factory to apply the DLC coating, uh, but uh, we decided that uh, we would you know, obviously put the, what it would cost us or what we were charged to get the coating done per tank, but uh, we never actually put any profit on it, if you like. Uh, and that was more of a, a thank you to the people that had already bought it and uh, bought the original one. So yeah, that's the, that's the choice we made. Uh, you will also notice that, uh, or you may not, but uh, obviously the spares are coming in new packing as well, new baggy. And, uh, and here we go, here's the DLC one. Now, uh, what has changed? This is the main thing. So uh, obviously you still get the mouth along, drip tip in there, uh, but the tolerances. Uh, there, there was feedback on the first batch. Uh, there was feedback, and we did listen. Uh, we listened to that feedback, and uh, what we did was we tightened up the tolerances. Now, a, a lot of people they were some people weren't happy about uh, the fact that there was sl slight movement in the the AFC here. Um, so we've we've taken a lot of the the slop, if you like, uh, out of that. So there's not as much movement in the AFC here as there was before. Uh, in fact, going right up the tank, the, it's a lot, the, the tolerances have been tightened up across the board. Uh, but obviously this is a brand new one. This is a standard four mil capacity. And uh, yes, we have uh, little clouds everywhere here. And this is not broccoli, these are clouds. And yeah, there we go, so this is the DLC one. So closing ring off, and then we'll pull the deck out, and uh, once again, it's much the same, uh, but the, the main difference here is, you can see we have an O-ring round here. Now, the O-ring has been applied because there was feedback from some people saying that they were having leaking issues. Uh, if you have any leaking issues, nine out of 10 times, uh, you just do not have enough cotton in the deck. It's that simple. Uh, however, there are instances where depending on the kind of build you're going for, uh, then you may not be able to use as much cotton. And yes, this may cause a leaking issue. So what we did was we included this O-ring here and this makes sure that everybody should be happy now. Uh, and once again, this is just purely based on listening to customer feedback and uh, it didn't cost us any extra to get it done or anything like that, so why not? If it's going to make people happier, then we'll, we'll just do it. Another thing that we got feedback on was the drip tip and the tolerances on the O-rings and just the tolerances all around in the drip tip. So these have been tightened up as well, which just means that it's now easier to put the drip tip on and off. Uh, obviously this is bone dry, give it a little twist and then it goes no problem. Grabbing one of my Dwarf Direct Lung Drip Tips, my favourite drip tips, and that just goes in no problem there. But for those that are interested, from the top here down to the lip in there is five, it's about 5.18 millimetres, but about five millimetres in depth down to there. So I'm going to take this to bits uh, because I'll show you the, the big window kit first. Just holding this here and then I'm just going to unscrew this bit like that. 
open up the big window kit, which is the DLC one, and once again we do include spare O-rings with each box or each upgrade part. Uh, so here we go, this already comes fitted with the O-rings, make sure there isn't an O-ring in there. This will just screw on like that, top cap back on, drip tip, I'll pop the deck back on here as well, and there we go with the big window kit. And once again, you can get this for the stainless steel tank as well. Obviously, the top section here will be in stainless steel instead of the DLC. Same capacity and all that, but uh, it just does away with, you know, you've just got a bigger viewing area. And we also have the 2 mil kit here as well. Once again, spares are included. And grab that little guy there. Going to need my, my tank from the other section. And this should just fit on there like that and then screw this down here, and there we go, 2 mil version. And for those that are curious, uh, it's about 32.5 millimeters in height, not including the 510 or the drip tip here. And just to point out, here's a, a brand new stainless steel one, and <laughs> there we go. And again, you can get the, the 2 mil kit for stainless steel and the big window kit as well. So I've got the new deck here and I'm going to pop a build in. This is a, a 3mm ID Alien from PC Coils. This is a 0 0.4 ohm it should come out at. And as always, it's uh, exceptionally easy to just drop a coil in there. And, and that's me. That's me done. Um, I, as always, you know, you can see the coil is below the two posts at the top here. And uh, I'm just going to lift it up just a tiny little bit. And, you know, when the air's coming in at an angle, I'm wanting it to just kiss the, the bottom half of the coil. And that's what works best for me. Uh, once again, 3mm IDs, 2.5 ID coils work great in this. I, depending how I'm going to vape it, I must admit 2.5 is my preferred coil for the har. So I've pulsed this. I'm taking some cotton as usual. I'm going to pass it through there. And the one thing that, <laughs> from the very very start one expression that was always used was build it like an RDA uh, just build it like an RDA and you should be fine now, I know that's easy for me to say that and, and not everybody gets it cracked first time uh, but um, that's it that is literally it That's uh, you can see how I've cut that I'm not doing anything fancy I'm just taking it out that far I am going to thin the cotton out just a little bit at the tails one thing to remember is this is gravity fed and that, I think that's a very important thing that people, some people need to remember about the har is that it is gravity fed uh, you know the juice is coming straight down onto the top of the cotton it's not coming from the side and it's not coming from underneath so my cotton's thinned out there and I'm just going to grab my tails and fold it down inside to the well like that and I've I've done this. I've put so many builds in this thing now. It's uh, but this for me just works every single time. That now the thing to remember, and, and I'll show you this. And I don't want you to think that I'm I'm trying to teach you how to suck eggs or anything here. But uh, remember, this is your juice flow control here. So normally that you can see how it normally sits. Uh, but if I move that, maybe I should have used the stainless steel one. It would have been easier. You can see the juice is coming from above, so the juice flow is going to sit like that and come right down on here. So the cotton, you do want your cotton to be lifted a little bit um, because you know the, the, I find the closer it is to up here and almost touching it, you know, the better it is. If you have too much cotton, you'll get a dry hit. It won't wick well enough. That's why I kind of thinned it out a little bit. But uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of how the juice is actually coming down from the tank through these holes onto the cotton on the outside here. So I'm just getting some juice on here. Uh, and another thing to bear in mind is that um, if you find <laughs> that after a few days you come back to it and it's suddenly you find juice uh, around the base of it well you shouldn't really do with the o-ring there now but if you do if you have even if you have one of the, the old decks the reason for that is that you will already know you guys that have been vaping for long enough you know that the cotton is going to collapse 
uh, when you've been vaping on it for a very long time and when it collapses uh, you know it kind of shrinks in there and that means that the juice from you know above is, is just going to drip straight into there so if you do get juice on the bottom or the side or wherever then normally that means that it's time to change your cotton you've just been using it for too long and it's collapsed and that's the same for any gravity fed tank so that's it that's all the new parts and uh, i have the build in my i'm actually i'll not lie i'm using the the new deck but i'm actually using it in the prototype uh, dlc tank because yeah I, I, one thing as as somebody who reviews and critiques other people's gear um I have to be aware of that. That that is really, really it weighs on me when I'm showing you off gear that I'm involved with. Um, it, it was very easy to sit here and just go, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You can't do that. Not when you take into account what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why it was so important that we took on board all the constructive feedback. Um, now there was negativity there was people being arseholes uh, but there were lots of people that gave constructive feedback and we listened to it and we're not going to call this a v2 it's not a v2 hard not in any shape or form this is just we've just slightly revised it taken on your feedback feedback tightened up the tolerances where you asked for it. So on the AFC, you know, when you put the closing ring on, everything tightens up a little bit more. There's not as much slop as there was before. But in saying that, I'm still using my prototype HAR here, DLC one, because I liked it. I liked it the way it was before. I understand why people wanted things slightly changed and we would have been idiots not to listen to that feedback and not do something about it but I still wouldn't be disappointed if I had the original batch in fact if you have the original batch and you have no issues then there is no reason for you to buy anything new here unless you're wanting a big window kit or a two mil tank version uh, I wouldn't worry about getting the, v the, the updated deck or an updated version um, I wouldn't how's that for poor sales patter but um, the main thing is, is the deck with the O-ring. It's not going to bother everybody and it's not going to be of benefit to necessarily everybody anyway because there's many, many people using from the first batch that have no issues with leaking and whatnot. And the leaking is caused once again by, remember, it's gravity fed and you've got, you've got juice coming down and you've got a ball of cotton going down onto here. There has to be enough cotton there making contact. If your cotton breaks down over time, then there's going to be too much juice getting into there. And, and yes, you do suffer the possibility of leaking if that cotton breaks down or if there's not necessarily enough there. The O-ring should address that fact or that potential issue. So that should make it easier for people to build on. Those that are not maybe up to speed on building, it will look after them also. It's not a cop out. It, it's not a cop out at all and, and I hand on heart still believe that you don't necessarily need it but it, it will help those that do need it so why why shouldn't we put it in there that's what I'm trying to say it's not cost us anything to put that o-ring on it's cost us the price of an o-ring and a groove uh, but um, we've not changed the price of the har at all to make up for it so there you go I'm at my, my usual 25 watts with uh, my coil here and fully open air wise. And as always, uh, as we said at the very, very start, this is a loose mouth to lung to a restricted direct lung. It is not a direct lung tank and it is not a true mouth to lung tank. It, we've never ever marketed it as that and if you've watched videos where people have said it doesn't do mouth to lung or it's a direct lung tank, they're wrong. It's neither of those things. So if you are into tight mouth to lung or direct lung, it's not the tank for you. It's for that 
area in between. Just want to make that clear because I did see some videos where people did say it was one thing when we've never sold it as that. We never ever have. Um, on that note, I want to thank everybody that bought from the first batch and has already bought from the second batch and some of the updated parts. Thank you so much for your support and, and thank you to those that have are enjoying uh, vaping with the har. Um, still can't get my head around having my name in something. Yes, I get the absolute piss taken out of me every single day about broccoli, clouds, uh, char and, and various other things but um, it's good fun and and if you can't have fun as as a wise creation once said to me if you aren't having fun when you're doing this there's zero point in doing it at all and god damn it he's right um so thank you to everybody uh, thank you very very much if you do buy this gear thank you so so much if you don't if you hate it if you want to throw if you want to break it with a hammer go ahead knock yourself out we're still glad that you paid money for it um and on that note, I'm going to head off. Uh, any issues at all, please, if you have ever, ever, ever have any issues with the har at all, uh, contact the retailer that you bought it from in the first instance. If not, go along to the Van and Dell website. You will see an email address there. Contact them through that email address. If not, join the Facebook group. You can get a hold of us all in the Facebook group. We're all there. And through all those avenues, you will get support. You will get advice, uh, not just from us, but in the Facebook group, from everybody else that bought the har. They will tell you, uh, help you with builds and things like that, or just wind you up and take the piss out of you because they're rather strange. But uh, yes, you, if you're stuck, just reach out and we'll help you. But that's it. Um, there will be, we have actually now sent out uh, two batches of gear to two reviewers in the States, uh, one being Matt Cully and one being Mr. Bissardo uh, for review. It's the first time we've done it, I send out gear for review. Uh, but uh, yes, it's gone out to those guys, those guys, so keep an eye out and you'll see feedback from them. And be it positive, negative, constructive feedback, we thank you in advance. But uh, I'm off. Bye for now.